optimize this. I'm going to go to Dr. Group on Ebola. I'm ranting, but Dr. Group, before we get into Ebola and the shocking news on that front today, talking about the awakening. I mean, I've had dinner with you, hung out with you and your wife last week when you were here in town. You're a really smart guy. You were in Army Special Operations, did a lot of interesting things. You've seen behind the curtain. What do you call this awakening, and am I overestimating it or underestimating it? No, I think that, uh, you know, like yourself, I mean, I, I'm really involved at looking at more or less the eugenics part of it, how how everything ties together with the health care. You know, I, you know, hey, I was, you know, like you said, you're a Republican. I was all into pharmaceuticals and wanted to be a medical doctor until and still, until I started finding out the truth and started digging deeper and digging deeper. And now I'm looking at it as you know what's going on and how this is affecting the masses all over the world and i think that we're at a tipping point i mean we, we're at the maximum well i wouldn't say maximum but like you said i mean even we're approaching the maximum we're approaching event horizon Houston, I'm starting to see Homeland Security cars driving around. We have a whole building being built downtown for Homeland Security. So and you see Homeland Security working with the local police departments. You, but at the same time, I have Houston Police Department officers that come by here that tell me that they see what's going on inside. They are waking up. So it's a 50-50 thing. You know, you have the positive and the negative. Sometimes you have more negative and then all of a sudden you'll have more positive. So it's it's really, I would say, the strongest fight right now um, in healthcare, in politics, I mean, all the way around, which is happening, and people are waking up. I you know, I like to think people would wake up a little bit faster, but the main thing that I've been focusing on is teaching people how to wake up by getting healthier and supporting their body's natural immune system and supporting their self-healing mechanism because really that's what it all comes down to. I mean, if you look at every single aspect that you know, the globalists have used through poisoning the air and the food and the water. It's all designed really to dumb you down, to make you mentally retarded, to, you know, lower your IQ levels, to affect your body so you're sick, to instill fear into your system, which drops your immune system by 50%. So, um, getting the word out to people about how they can keep their immune system strong, how they can keep their bodies clean, how, can, how they can avoid all that. How they, you know, just knowing the information, how they can protect themselves against fear. You know, I mean, that's that's probably one of the biggest things out here, you know, with this Ebola. The way I do it is I take action against something and then that calms me down and makes me feel good. Well, exactly. I'm not scared of anything because I've taken action and many of your listeners have taken action, too. They know what to do. I mean, you know, if, if you know what to do with an Ebola outbreak, if you know what to do with a pandemic, you've prepared for all that. You've got food storage. You've got a place to go. You've stocked up on, you know, silver. You've stocked up on iodine. You've stocked up on the things that are going to protect your cells, DNA force, all that stuff that's there to protect you and to boost your own immune system and to keep your body strong and you have a plan then there's nothing to fear i mean you know if you understand the how the globalists and how all those individuals operate you know and you just look at why are they breaking all the rules here why is obama signing executive order to you know that can force that's it they're moving on all fronts now they don't care anymore i've never seen so much corruption what does that signify to you as an indicator just the fact of how they've handled this Ebola situation, if you look at the, the supposedly pandemics in the past with swine flu, H1N1, I would say this is by far the worst scenario that we've been in just because the way the government and the World Health Organization is handling the situation, bringing people into uninfected countries. I mean, this is like insane you you quarantined an area with a potential pandemic you never uh, fly people into the united states and fly people into other countries and you know now with what you're saying with the funeral homes and everything i, I would say with the connections to the vaccinations with them being able to forcibly vaccinate that's a whole nother thing um you know get out of a densely crowded populated city as fast as you can 
But more importantly is just make sure that you have what you need for you and your family. I was to about to say, I'm just going to stay away from crowds if, it's, if it actually gets in the population. I mean, uh, clearly, I don't think it's going to get that bad over here. I hope it doesn't show up over here. It may already have. They're reporting on CBS News. But it's going to be the fear the government puts out in the vaccine they roll out, like the polio vaccine that they admit gave people polio, like my grandmother. Uh, here's CBS News for folks that just joined us. North Texas Hospital evaluating patient for potential Ebola exposure. Uh, Ebola alert, U.S. patient zero suspected in Dallas. Travel history and symptoms suggest infection. Uh, plans for mass graves confirmed. Infowars.com. Uh, Dallas Hospital, possible Ebola patient. Nine News. Ebola. And then I've got my other report here by Paul Joseph Watson uh, up on Infowars.com, the one that we were just mentioning. CDC warns funeral homes in the U.S. who prepare for Ebola victims. They've never done this before. Why would they bring Ebola patients in, Dr. Group? Why would they do that and then start saying get ready for it? I mean, it looks premeditated. There's, you know, everything that's been happening in the last five years has pretty much been right in our face, you know, and it's, it, they're getting to the point now where they don't even care. You know, it used to be kind of secretive, but now they're just, they're doing it right in front of you and they're reporting it on the news. You know, we're bringing Ebola patients right into the U.S. And, you know, they're just testing the reactions and the reactions of the general population and seeing what they're going to do. And they're just keep, they just keep pushing it further and further and further to the limit. And nobody's doing anything about it except us you know we're you know there are a select group of people that are calling us finding hey listen how is this happening what can we do to protect ourselves but it's the more that they push also the more that they can create fear and then you have that 80 90 percent of the population out there that says government we depend on you what are you going to do for us and they start calling and pushing the cdc and the world health organization into vaccines and you know they li they'll line up at every single drugstore all day long if a vaccine came out tomorrow an ebola vaccine and it was distributed through every drugstore in the United States. The scary thing is 80, 90 percent of the population would run down there with their kids and everything and take an untested vaccination. And not only that, you know, you, you have stuff that's going on in the United States right now, these weird respiratory illnesses that are affecting the children all over the place, the adults, uh, the amendment Obama signed that they can physically detain anyone for any respiratory illness. Respiratory illness yeah he did that a couple months ago and then magically this starts and then they admit it's linked to the vaccines we had dr blaylock brain surgeon medical doctor on yesterday he was saying it's caught you know mutations from the vaccines causing other viruses in the gut to then mutate i mean it's and that they all know this so it's clearly on purpose uh, incredible i want to shift gears briefly uh, a, a couple months ago i guess 12 weeks ago we came out with dna force the most powerful formula ever uh, literally for on record doing amazing things inside the body and i've been taking it even before it came out everybody in my family that's taken it has been blown away it's the flagship of infowarslife.com products spend a couple minutes telling people what's in dna force uh, that you helped us develop with my dad uh, break down what this formula does and when people purchase it it also supports the transmission yeah, this is actually a, an amazing formula, and you know, just the response from the people that have that got the DNA force from Infowars. I've had people contact me. Uh, it's amazing, and, and the reason why we developed it is because there's such an attack on the cells. I mean, if you look at the body, what decreases, what causes aging, what decreases cellular function, what harms the cells, and those are all free radicals. It's free radical damage from you know all of the chemicals that you're ingesting in the food and the beverage and everything else and if you're sick the immune system has to work extra hard stress i mean stress is causing an immune uh deficiency in the majority of people over 35 right now lack of sleep so you know looking back it's all about looking at the root cause of what's going on in the body and if the cells are being attacked uh, our main mission was to be the first company in the world working with your dad uh, to develop a product because, again, you know, we're really big on cleansing and cleansing and cleansing, and that's great for the cells, but a lot of people out there want the extra ability to protect their cells from free radical damage and 
to, you know, slow down the aging process. I mean, the anti-aging market out there is, a, is an incredible market. And for folks that don't know, th this is a whole bunch of patented, certified, organic compounds. We'll talk about when we come back from break and hit some other Ebola news that we're even able to actually say what it does. You don't see that with other supplements because they're not this nutraceutical level of just absolutely certified uh, ingredients.